Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to Cooking Up Conversation. I'm Caroline. And it's your boy, Grip. Thanks for joining us today. Oh, well, I am Chef Grip, and we are cooking today. All right, we're going to make a um, mustard sauce with a chicken thigh uh, bone in. Let's get started by cutting the stove on, which I've already did, sorry, and applying a little oil at the bottom of the pan. Grip 101. So what I like to do is take the pan in. As my mother used to say, she's greasing my sister's scalp. So we're just gonna grease the scalp of this frying pan. So what's up, Caroline? Not much. What do you think about what's going on? How's it affecting you, or does it? Uh, it definitely affects me, because, um, I mean, it's a race thing. Not that, like, I'm against any race, but I'm definitely for my race. When you got little kids like I got, I have five sons, five black sons, and the way that the world going right now is just not looking up for, for them coming up in the world, you know, it's just, it's weird. Duh. Have your kids asked you at all about what's going on? My, I got a nine year old, he ain't really like, like ask me what's going on, but he definitely was asking me about like, what is Black Lives Matter and mm. things of that nature. Yeah, that makes sense. It must be really hard for kids to process what's going on out there. It's hard for me to process. That's fair, <laughs> totally fair. What did you tell him about Black Lives Matter? I told him that Black Lives Matter, that literally just that Black Lives Matter. He has a little insight, not too much, because he's kind of young, but I think this is the right time that you should be teaching any kid uh, equality, unity, things of that nature. A lot of people have a lot of more options than what I had growing up. I had my mom, she worked a couple of jobs, she wasn't really home like that. That's kind of how I got into cooking. I had to feed my little brothers. Started with ramen noodles and hot dogs and went up to steak and mashed potatoes. And now you got your own show. And now I got my own show. <laughs> Cooking up conversation with Caroline. Not too bad. So we got about medium, medium high temperature. We're gonna let these chicken breasts cook for about another like five, seven minutes, and then I'm gonna apply some of this garlic and ginger in the bottom of the pot. A lid, I call this my presser. Brussels sprouts. All we missing is the mustard green. Yeah, I'm excited to try this. Cooking is so adaptable. Like once you have the basics down, you can mix and match when you know what you're doing. I love the way that you do that. It's fun, it's creative, it's freelance, freestyle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Really, it's just all upon you. Like, yeah. See, the first thing that you have to do when you cook is burn some. Flavor, flavor. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That looks awesome. It's gonna be a nice char on there. That's what we're looking for. I'm gonna just, you know, just kind of damp, let's just drop a drip right there on there. You know, this is gonna be a nice little sauce. You don't gotta do too much. What you wanna kinda do is kinda, you don't wanna mix the sauce in, you just wanna kinda shift it around a little bit. Get it all incorporated a bit. Yeah. Yeah, makes sense. All right, I think that's enough. As always, extra seasonings for the pots, because I am the flavor man. And this is an important thing that I think people don't always know. It's helpful to add your spices and flavoring as you go, like oh, yeah. layer it in. Keep adding the spices and um, whatever you've got going on as you put things into the pot so that not just the chicken and the pot have those flavorings, but now the Brussels sprouts do too. Exactly, because seasonings do uh, disintegrate, evaporate. So, well, Caroline, it smells like I'm ready to go ahead and transfer from the stove to the awesome. table where we gonna eat at. I am excited. Mm. Mm. Whew. Holy moly. That looks amazing. After all of my juices have rendered up. Yeah. 
And you know how we like to keep it classy and easy. We also got a little bit of microwave rice thrown on the side here. Just round us out. Oh, yeah. And... Those Brussels sprouts look awesome. Wow, it's like falling off the bone already. Oh, yeah, already. Yeah, can smell a little of the spiciness, especially coming up. And I got the, I should call this a char, because I got everything charred on here. Definitely, wow. I'm like not even waiting for you, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's probably really hot though, I'm guessing. <laughs> Let's see, I want to try this first. Mmm. Mm hmm I wasn't wrong. The mustard, the spiciness. How about the Brussels? Oh, man. Mmm. Mm-hmm. The Brussels sprouts really mellowed, I feel like. You know they you don't really get the spice in the Brussels. Mm -hmm. But I can definitely taste the ginger, that crisp, that little charred taste like it was on the grill. Mm-hmm. Totally. Mm. And then you get to that chicken. Mm-hmm. The crust is still crunchy. Mm-hmm. Well, we'll have uh, more opportunities for delicious eats on season two. This is our final episode of season one of Cooking Up. We appreciate y'all coming along for the ride. We hope you'll tune in for season two. We're taking this show on the road. As always, questions or comments, email me. I'm Grip. I'm Caroline. You just watched Cooking Up Conversation.